bad for an amateur, huh? Judging from the way you were keeping time with your foot, it must have been mighty pretty. How are your ears, Lucky? Still as deaf as a post. You know, those army doctors told me when they were teaching me lip reading that I'd get over this in time. I wonder if they meant a lifetime. You're lucky you didn't lose more than your hearing in the war. Yeah, we're lucky we got into this shack, too. We'd have looked like a couple of drowned chickens. Boy, that was some cloudburst. Now it's beginning to clear up. I guess we better be moving on. I'm kind of anxious to get there. Looking forward to seeing your mom, huh? You know, my folks died when I was just a young shaver. Never talked much about them, but from what I gather, I don't suppose your childhood was any more pleasant than mine. Well, my dad died when I was a little shaver, and my mom married again. A fellow by the name of Hendricks. He kind of kicked me around a little bit, so I struck out on my own. Then I... I saw her a few times, but it was the same between my stepdad and myself. And then I kind of lost track of them until Mom started writing again just recently. It seems as though an old friend of mine, an old school teacher friend of mine from Abilene is over there. What happened to Hendricks? Oh, he died a couple of months ago. I think Mom needs me, although she didn't mention it. Hey, two riders coming this way. Hey, I didn't 
Didn't Cyclone say he was traveling alone? No, all he said was that the marshal was riding around with a blazed face. Can either of you gentlemen see that far? Yeah, one of them's got a blazed face, all right. That's our work. I'll take the marshal myself. You take the other one. Rico, you ride on ahead and just in case one of us misses. Quit trying to be funny. What's the idea of taking me off the hard way? We've been dry gulched. Where are they? Never mind, I know. One of them's been hit. We got reinforcements. They turn tail. Blythe! Who in the world are... Well, I'll be darned. 
Shamrock Ellison, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is, Charlie. Hey, Lucky, it's Charlie Blythe, the marshal. A great marshal I am. Look at that leg. Bad? I'm not sure. It feels like the bone shattered. Mm. Does that hurt much? No, it's numb right now. Can't feel anything yet. Well, we better get him to a doctor. How about that wagon we passed a while back? We'll see if you can get him. I better stay here with the marshal and try to ease him up a bit. I'll hurry. Say, how come you're wandering away out here in the middle of Wyoming? I've been trailing you and Lucky for hours. Us? What for? Take a look at that. I still don't get it. <laughs> well, well, that Cayuse your partner was riding looks a whole lot like the horse Cyclone was using. Well, and why did you take our side against the boys who trail jumped it? <laughs> well, when I got up to where the shooting was, I thought I recognized the guy I plugged as one of Cyclone's men. Didn't you recognize him? Well, to tell you the truth, Marshal, I've been kind of busy shooting and ducking. Besides, I'm new to this country. Oh. <laughs> is it beginning to hurt now? Yeah, a little. But what hurts most of all is losing that reward money I would have gotten for bringing Cyclone in and the chance of a promotion. Well, don't worry about it. Lucky and I have got a little beef to settle with those characters. And if we happen to corral the Cyclone kid at the same time, that's his hard luck. You know what I mean? <laughs> Roughly, yeah. But just to keep everything on the right side of the law, Shamrock, here. Take my badge. And you are, as of right now, sworn in as a special deputy. Thanks a lot. Well, that's all right, Charlie. Glad to do it. Hey, maybe you better search that dead man over there. He might have some information on him. <sighs> yeah, he's one of Cyclone's men, all right. These letters from the... Acme Smeltering Works were dated the 7th. And the Rob Stagecoach was carrying this mail. Now I'm beginning to understand why we were bushwhacked. They mistook us for you. Could be. Could be? It is. Cyclone and his gang are probably blowing the loot in the next town right now. Yeah, that would be Brazos. Brazos? Well, my mother's ranch is out in that neck of the woods. Hey, it appears that this little task isn't going to take us out of our way at all. Take good care of them, senor. We'll get the sawbones up there as soon as we can. Muy bien. You know, Lucky, I'm going to use Blythe's name. I'm going to use Blythe's name. And then if we happen to latch onto the cyclone kid, he'll get the reward. You're an awful softy. Who's a softy? You're a softy. All right, so I'm a softy. It's my idea. You don't have to string along. All right, I'm a softy too. From now on, you can call me John Law. What's your handle? Just call me Charlie Blythe. Well, Charlie, where do we start? Well, John, the first thing to do is to find the nearest ranch house so we can get a doctor for the marshal. Where's Rusty? Dead. We run into a whole army, Cyclone. How many times have I told you as long as I'm around here, I'm Ellison? Yeah, you let those cow folks around here know who he is, and we're all dead pigeons. All right, Sam. What happened? Well, uh, we was lying on the trail waiting for the marshal, but he had another guy riding along with him. That didn't matter to us, so we stuck him up. But things started to go wrong. The whole posse showed up behind him. They cut loose on us, and they killed Rusty. Must have been at least 20 of them. I'm telling you, Sam. I mean, Ellison, we didn't have a chance. We did wing one of the posse, though, didn't we, Sam? Yeah. The point is, you let the marshal get away. Well, we couldn't fight a whole posse. You probably ruined the biggest chance any of us ever had to make a real killing. I don't get it. What's so important about hanging around this broken-down ranch? This broken-down ranch, as you call it, is worth 75,000 cash, providing the marshal don't push his way in here. 75,000? When we held up that stage the other day, I found a letter. Notifying the heir of the Lazy Dollar Ranch to claim it. The letter said that oil had been struck on the adjoining property. 
The Western Oil Company made this Ellison guy a cash offer of 75,000 for the lease. I went into town the other day with that letter and made my claim as James Everett Parkington Ellison and got away with it. As soon as the property is turned over to me, I'll lease it to the oil company, get the money, and we'll blow this part of the country. Yeah, that's a cute scheme. But what happens when the real guy shows up? Why should he? He never got the letter telling him to come out. I got it. And on top of that, he's never been in these parts. Now do you see why it's important to call me Ellison? It's the marshal and his pal. Put it away. I'll take care of this. Get out of sight. Howdy, men. Come on in. Well, thank you. Look kind of tired. How about sitting with me for a spell and having a feed? Well, thanks a lot, but we're in kind of a hurry. Speak for yourself. I'm starved. Where is it? In the kitchen, stranger. Help yourself. Thanks. Do you know where we can find a doctor? There ain't a doctor this side of town. Why? What's the matter? We ran into a holdup. A friend of ours got shot. Well, that's too bad. Any idea who they were? We think it might be the Cyclone Gang. You haven't seen any strangers hanging around here, have you? Yeah, come to think of it, I did see a couple of men this morning heading for that canyon over there. Considering how hot it is today, they sure seemed in a hurry. I tell you what, I'll send one of my boys into town to get the doc. I'll leave you and your partner free to bring in them hijackers. Well, that's mighty nice of you. Say, while you're about it, you might send up some of your boys to pick up that body of one of the gang. It's just off the trail. You can't miss it. All right. Hey, where's that wounded man? He's up at Manuel's sheep camp. You better get a doc up there pretty fast. He's bleeding. Thanks for the handout. Send him up Wild Horse Canyon. Go after him. And this time, no mistakes. When them bodies are found, one of them will be the marshal. And these letters will identify the other fellows, me. The law will stop trailing us, and I'll have a clean bill of health. What about the fellow at the sheep camp? Forget him. All right, get going. through this draw, they must have had wings. They sure didn't leave any tracks. Maybe we'd better split up. You take this side and I'll take that. We'll meet at the head of the canyon. Looks like they split up. 
I yeah, think you're right. This letter might be of interest to Cyclone. Yeah. Yeah, which one will we try first? Let's try that one. I didn't miss. Now let's get the other one before he clears out of here. It's the first time you ever saved my life like that. <laughs> I must be getting wacky talking to a gun. A busted one at that.
told us you guys were after us. I ain't done nothing. Go get the horses, Lucky, while I take care of this so-called bad man. What? I said, go get the horses. Didn't hear you. Ah, never mind. I'll get them myself. Go get the horses. I should get the horses. Come on, get up. Sure made quick work of that. Is this fellow the Cyclone kid? Well, he says not. But the stuff found on him sure proves that he at least knew Cyclone. Yes, and we'd have gotten the other one, too, if he hadn't run like a scared rabbit. If you men don't mind, I'd sure like the pleasure of turning this summary over to the sheriff myself. Say, that's not a bad idea. We'll take a chance on tracking down the other one. He might have headed for town. I'll keep his gun, seeing as how he ruined mine. Any special instructions for the sheriff? Well... You might tell him that Marshal Blythe wants him held on the federal charge of mail robbery. Marshal? Who? Blythe. Is that you? Yeah. Don't spread it around, huh? No, I sure won't. Good luck. Thanks. Where have you been? I've been trailing those men. I uh, hid out till the marshal left. Here. What's this? I picked it up on the trail. I thought it might interest you. Bad? I don't know yet. One of them fellows is Ellison, the guy I'm supposed to be. Then he knows that you're a fake. Shut up. You talk too much. For two cents, I'd turn you over to the sheriff. You do, and I'll spill everything I know about you. I was only kidding, Rico. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Why, you and me are pals. Shamrock, Allison, where in the world did you drop from? How did you find me? Well, I've been inquiring all over town. This is my sidekick, Lucky Hayden. How are you? How do you Won't do? Won't you sit down? Thank you. Now, tell me what you two boys are doing here. I'm trying to find my mother. I haven't seen her for some time. She married a man by the name of Hendricks. Oh, Hendricks. Oh, I knew Mrs. Hendricks, but she never told me you were her son. What do you mean, you knew her? Shamrock, your mother died a month ago. Hadn't you heard? No, I haven't. Sorry. It happened about a week before your brother, James Ellison, arrived to claim the Lazy Dollar Ranch. My brother? Why, I haven't any brother. James Ellison is my name. As a matter of fact, my full name is James Everett Parkington Ellison. 
Shamrock is just a nickname. What about this other man that calls himself Ellison that claims the ranch? Well, that's what I can't figure. Even if he's trying to take what's mine, why would he pull a swindle for a scrubby little ranch like that? But it's not such a scrubby little ranch. Oil was found there. Oil? As a matter of fact, the action is being heard in court this afternoon. What action? Mr. Ellison, well, that is, the other man, is making proof of his identity. But of course, if, if he isn't Ellison... Shamrock, can you prove who you are? Well, I... I have a letter from my mother. That should be proof enough. Well, at least I did have it. I must have lost it. Well, I can identify you. Well, so can I, for that matter. Can you be at the hearing this afternoon? You bet I can. Now, you boys make yourselves comfortable, and I'll go make a nice warm pot of tea. Tea? Come in, Sam. Howdy, Sheriff. Oh, pardon me, Colonel. Good afternoon, Mr. Ellison. Hi, Sam. Howdy, Colonel. Did Marshal Bath come through here? No, not yet. I received a letter from him saying I could expect him most any day. Why? Well, he brought a prisoner to me this afternoon, Colonel. Trusting the man with me to be delivered to you. Unfortunately, the prisoner tried to get away and... Uh... You shot him? No, I did. I hope this doesn't mean any trouble for me. Not with that court action coming up this afternoon. Well, I don't think you'll have anything to worry about. Where's the body, Sam? It's about five miles out of town on the road to Ellison's place. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll send one of the boys out there to get him. In the meantime, I'll fix up the clearance papers for you to sign. I don't think you'll have a thing to worry about. Thanks, Colonel. That's very considerate of you. That's me, Colonel. The clearance papers are all in order. You have nothing to worry about. Well, thanks, Colonel. How are you, Mr. Allison? Hello, Wagner. This is my secretary, Miss Gibson. How do you do, Miss Gibson? How do you do? I have here the leases the oil company drew up, and the $75,000 in cash, as you requested. Fine. I like the way they do business. Well, being one of the biggest oil companies in the West, I think they can afford to be liberal. Now in session, Honorable Judge Deacon presiding. Sit down. <coughs> Let's see now. What's first on the docket? Oh, yes, yes. The probate of the last will and testament of the late Mary Hendricks. Are all of the principals ready? We're all here, Your Honor. <clears throat> Having examined the documents and proof of the claimant's relationship to the late deceased, and having found them satisfactory, the court will now enter an order declaring one James Everett Parkington Ellison the sole heir and... Just a minute, Your Honor. That man is not the heir to the lazy dollar. I have checked, Your Honor. This is out of order. Order! Order in the court! Chair! It is your duty to keep order in this court now get to work. Order! Order in this court now. Young man, do you know you can be punished for contempt of court? I appeal to the fairness of this court, Your Honor. 
All I ask is a chance to prove that that man is a swindler. I am the rightful heir to the Lazy Dollar Ranch. Oh, you are? Well, sit down. Maybe a good idea if the court hears what you have to say. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth so help you? I do. What's your name? Shamrock Ellison. Uh, that is, all my friends know me as Shamrock. My real name is James Everett Parkington Ellison. Which, of course, is to say that you claim to be the Hendricks heir. I don't claim to be anything, Your Honor. I am the heir. Oh, uh, I see. Well, <clears throat> have you any proof to support that claim? Well, all my friends will swear that I'm Ellison. I see. Well, that will be all for the present. You may step down. Young lady, will you kindly come forward? Place your left hand on the book and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth so help you? I do. Sit down. Uh, young lady, what's your name? Anne Green. Hmm. Are you acquainted with the second claimant? Yes, Your Honor. I've known Shamrock for a long time. Shamrock? The claimant's name in this case happens to be James Everett Parkington Ellison. Oh, it is. Shamrock is just his nickname. Uh. Have you ever heard anyone call him James Everett Parkington Ellison? Well, uh, no, Your Honor. I, I can't say that I have. Well, then how did you know that his name was James Everett Parkington Ellison? Because he told me so, Your Honor. <laughs> Order. Oh, he told you so. Your loyalty to the young man is very touching. But I'm afraid, uh, when exactly did he tell you so? Uh, a few hours ago. Mm. That old rooster doesn't treat you right, I'll shoot off his tail feathers. Previously to an hour ago, did he ever mention to you the existence of the late Mrs. Hendricks, whom he now claims was his mother? No. No, Your Honor, I don't think he did. <sighs> Well, uh, that will be all for now, Miss Green. Thank you. Next witness. Uh, you, young fella, the new claimant's friend. Uh, sleeping. Excuse me, Your Honor. Put your hand on the book and swear. Swear? In front of the ladies? Now, don't try to get humorous in this court, young fellow. We're all very sober here, very sober. You'll have to excuse him, Your Honor. He can't hear. If you speak plainly, he'll be able to read your lips. Just answer the questions, Lucky. Raise your right hand. Well, that's my shooting hand, Your Honor, and uh, under the circumstances, I don't like to get it out of reaching distance. Come on, Lucky, get it over with. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you? Shamrock and I have got nothing to lie about, Your Honor. Sit down. What's your name? Lucky X Hayden. X? What's the X stand for? That's my mark. You know, X. That's the way I sign my name. Let's get on with this action. Are you acquainted with the new claimant? Shamrock? Why, he and I have been kicking around together for years. Did you ever hear anyone call him James Everett Parkington Ellison? <laughs> well, the ranch foreman used to say James Everett Parkington Ellison, get those doggies in for Brandon time. It was James Ellison Parkington this and Parkington Ellison Everett this and... Parkington, Parkington, Hark, Park, what is this? What's the matter, Your Honor? Can't you handle those big words? It would be more to the point if you were familiar with them. Uh, did you ever see him sign his name? <laughs> sign his name? Why, I've seen him sit in a stud poker game and sign IOUs for more money than you make in ten years. <laughs> I, uh, that will be all, Mr. Hayden. Thank you, Your Honor. Say, Your Honor, if you decide in our favor, you'll step next door, I'll buy you a little, uh... That is all, Mr. Hayden. Yes, Your Honor. Well, now, Mr. Shamrock Ellison, You've heard the testimony of your witnesses. Have you any further evidences in support of your claim? Well, I, uh, I did have a letter, Your Honor, from my mother. 
But I'm afraid I've lost it. Your Honor, this is all very ridiculous. I see no reason for further delay. A business deal of some importance hinges on the prompt settlement of my estate. That man is an imposter, a floor flusher and a crook, and I can prove it. If you can show this man to be an imposter, Mr. Elson, by all means proceed and let's get it over with. Just this morning, that man told me he was United States Marshal Blythe. And if you search him now, you'll find he's carrying a Marshal's badge. Well, sure I'm carrying a Marshal's badge, and I have a perfect right to. I'm not trying to hide anything. Well, make up your mind, young fella. Which do you claim to be, the heir to the lazy dollar? Or Marsh the Blythe? I mean, Blosh the Blythe. <laughs> you know what I mean, which is it? I am James Everett Parkington Shamrock Ellison. Acting on authority of Marshal Blight. That's why I'm carrying it, and that's a simple truth. He told me this morning he was Blythe. The man's not only a clever impersonator, but he's also a brazen liar. Just a minute. I'm running this court. Can you prove that you have legal authority to carry that badge? At the present time, Judge, you have only my word of honor. Honor, he says. I'm sure I can get proof in a few hours. I wish to remind the court that we are not trying a case of impersonating an officer. Let us proceed with the case at hand. Sheriff, this man is remanded to custody until further notice. Meanwhile, take that badge away from him. Your badge, please. And one thing more, Judge, and this is very important. He's not only trying to cheat me out of my rights, but he's a notorious mail robber. The Cyclone Kid. Order! Order! Now you sit down and put that gun away. Go right ahead. He showed up at my ranch this morning and told me of a gunfight he'd had. Said he was ambushed by a gang. What most likely happened was he murdered the marshal and stole that badge off his body. That could be the truth, Judge. I just received a report a while ago that they found the body of a man with a bullet through his skull, up on the rim. I sent one of my deputies to investigate, but he hasn't returned. Now, just a minute, Sheriff. Somebody's lying around here. Marshal Blythe is wounded. He's lying up in a sheep camp near the rim. I told that man to send a doctor up to him this morning. But I have my doubts if the doctor ever arrived. If you'll send a party up to get Blythe, he'll tell you who I am. That'll all be taken care of, son. As I've been trying to say, we are not conducting a criminal case, but we are engaged in the settlement of a probate matter. This man is guilty of impersonating an officer, which is sufficient grounds to hold him for the federal authorities. But, Your Honor, please, give me a chance to prove that I'm the legal heir to the lazy dollar. I'm about to state my decision in that matter as of now. I see no reason why the first claimant shall not be recognized as the legal heir. In view of the evidence of the second claimant, which is negligible, in view of his conduct during the case, and of the subsequent accusations brought against him, I have no other alternative. That will be all. Congratulations, Mr. Ellison. Thank you, Mr. Wagner. May I offer mine, too? Thank you. I'm very happy about that decision. Supposing we go across the street to the Wells Oil Company now. Did you say the cash was ready? That's right. Well, you go ahead, Wagner. We'll be along shortly. All right. Good work. Thank you. Are you going to let him get away with this? Have you got anything to suggest? Well, uh, no. Come on, son. We're going to the calaboose. Oh, uh, Colonel, couldn't I have just two minutes? To say goodbye? Well, I... Uh... Please, Colonel? Yes, yes, I don't see why not. Shamrock, if you tell me where Blythe is, couldn't I go to him? Well, the main thing is to get a doctor up to Blythe at Manuel's sheep camp. If Blythe can make it, he'll come on back. And if he can't, I'll get a sworn statement. That's the stuff. Now hurry. Good luck. What are we hanging around here for? Let's get the door and get out of here. I want to make sure they put them two birds in jail first. We'll need all the time we can get. What about this fellow Blythe up at the sheep camp? The sheriff says the deputy's up there now. If he talks, we're dead pigeons. Yeah, that's right. 
Time's up, boys. Can you tell what they're saying, Lucky? Uh-huh. Sheriff, those men are planning to do away with Marshal Blythe. I just heard him. What? Clear across this courtroom? Well, he didn't exactly hear them, but he could tell what they were saying by reading their lips. Oh. Well, maybe you can tell by reading mine that I'm going to put you in jail. Sheriff, I thought I told you to put that man in jail and hold him for the authorities. Why, that old nanny goat's as crooked as the rest of them. Now, give me your gun. All right, Sheriff. This is one time we run, not fight. Come on, man. I'm going to form a party and catch those high binders. Big idea. In the interest of law and order, I think it's our duty to join that posse. Are you out of your mind? Don't worry, Sam. It'll just give us a better chance to see Mr. Blythe. You boys with us? Sure. Right around the slope. I'll head back through to Colbert and make my way to Manuel's shack. If this goes the way I think it will, the whole posse will be after you. Why do I always have to do your dirty work? Oh, stop complaining, you big galoot. I'll only need about an hour. All right. Like they must have taken the shortcut over the slope. Colonel, me and Sam will ride around with the sheep, Kim. We might run into them over there. Well, you better take some of the boys. We can handle it. We'll scare them right back into your lap.
The way he keeps mumbling, I figure he must be one of Cyclone's gang. You're not making sense, Deputy. That man happens to be Mr. Blythe, United States Marshal for this territory. Well, him? I beg your pardon, ma'am. Which one did you say was the Marshal? Well, hello, Mr. Allison. What are you doing here? Well, we're looking for Cyclone and his sidekick. Me and my pal cut away from the posse at the bottom of the draw. We thought maybe they might be hiding out here. That man is Cyclone. Don't let him get away. Don't pay any attention to him, Mr. Allison. He's delirious. Voice. I'd know your voice anywhere, Cyclone. This is kind of embarrassing. Ask him to push up his left sleeve. There's a birthmark on the... Sam. Get his gun. Wait outside. I won't be but a minute. It's too bad you didn't stay delirious, Marshal. Psycho, look. What are they saying? Yes, yes, Victor. Let us in on it. We ain't gonna tell nobody, just the four of us here. Don't wish, cry, me boy. I wish I could read lips. What is she saying to him? Huh? Does it look like it's gonna... Or is it, uh... Oh, 
Is it wonderful? It sure is. Let me have them glasses. Okay. Boys, there's going to be a wedding. There is? What? Oh, I'll see you later. Just a minute, Deep. Where's the five that you owe me? Oh, yes. I forgot. That'll teach me never to bet against a sure thing again. Mm -hmm. 